right gang, let's start taking a look at a couple of word problems. And, it, and when it comes to the word problems in chapter seven, and really for chapter seven, eight, nine, and 10, uh, there's, there's an initial question you wanna ask yourself and there's, there's one of two ways to go about it. So let me just map this out for us as we start to move forward in this. So you can, the first question you can ask, and this is version one, you can try and determine, are you in mean land or proportion land? So that's one version of the question you can ask yourself. So as we read through this problem, we can try and be on the listen for am I dealing with averages or am I dealing with proportions? And a different way of asking that same question is do you have a numerical variable or a categorical variable? And then after that, if I, once I determine, yes, I'm in mean land or yes, I'm in proportion land, or you know, like if I have a numerical variable, I'm in mean land. If I have a categorical variable, I'm in proportion land. Then I would try and figure out, am I dealing with a population distribution or a sampling distribution? Okay, so I would call this question two. And this is, I'll put it here, question one, just depending on which version you prefer. All right, so I'll try and talk about both versions of this, whether I, whether I do the mean versus proportion or numerical versus categorical. And once we make our call here, then try and determine uh, as this particular question, and you can see we have A through H on example 12. So in each of those parts, am I dealing with a population distribution or a sampling distribution? Because depending on my answer, that'll help me figure out which of these columns I'm in, right? Am I, am I, do I have a population distribution that's normal? Do I have a population distribution where I needed a table? Uh, do I have, a, oh, you know, I think I said normal. I'm pointed to the uniform. So do I have a population distribution that's uniform? Am I binomial? Was my population distribution normal? Was it something else entirely? Okay, I'm on a sampling distribution. I'll be in one of these two columns. So we really got to start to figure out which columns of that overall trait table are we looking at. All right, so let's, let's take a look at some of the, the clues here. Let's see if we can decipher our clues as we read this. So the mean number of minutes for app engagement by a tablet user is about 8.2 minutes. Suppose the standard deviation is one minute, take a sample of 60. All right, so let's talk about clues as to which land you're in. Here's a number, you see 8.2, right? That is a numerical variable, and I can also see the units, right? So I see that I've got, it looks like this is app engagement time, that is my variable. So app engagement time. On these tablets, and the units were in minutes. So I can see I have a numerical variable, it's continuous. And another thing, as soon as you see units, you know you're in mean land because the units for prop land are percentages. So there's one clue that I'm in mean land. My variable is numerical. So let me go ahead and highlight that. All right, I also saw the standard deviation is one minute. All right, so I saw another set of units there. All right, so I just wanna take note here because this will pop up in future problems, all right? Anytime units are given, you know you're gonna be in mean land. All right, units given means you have a numerical variable, you're going to mean land. So I'm gonna put this little note here, this is mean land. Okay. And then the other giveaway that I was in mean land was the word mean. I'm, and I'm not even trying to oversimplify this. Look for the fun, obvious clues, okay? Um, the other thing I noticed is it said take a sample of 60. So there's a possibility I will be on a sampling distribution. And I say possibility because I can hear that this first sentence was about the population distribution, right? So they're just saying 
that I have um, for the population, the average is 8.2 minutes and the standard deviation is one and then take a sample of 60. So I've got my population distribution and actually let me put another little thing off to the side. I know I've got all these little things to the side, but once you know you're in mainland, that's when you can start doing this thing, okay? The question marks. This is the, the method for mean land. Now, proportion land's completely different, but if, if you answer mean land or you have a numerical variable, you can set up your six question marks. All right, so with that, let me see what I can fill in, and then I'll start answering A through H. So this is just all the work I wanna do ahead of time before I even read part A. So based on what was written here, Let's see what we know. We know the mean uh, mean number of minutes for app engagement time is 8.2 and the standard deviation is one. So I'm gonna fill those in right here. Okay. Now nowhere in this sentence or the first, second or third sentence did they say anything about shape. So I don't know if it's normal, I don't know if it's Uniform, skewed right, multimodal, I know nothing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the question mark there. All right, but then it does say take a sample of 60, so I will know something about these sampling distributions. And because we're in mean land, I know I'm gonna be in this column. I'm looking at the sampling distribution for means. I'm gonna keep the same average, the same center, and I'm gonna divide that deviation by the square root of n. All right, so let's see what we've got here. As I, I'm going to erase this and do a little bit of number crunching. All right, so we're going to have 8.2 here, and then I need to do 1 divided by the square root of 60. Let's see what that number is. Looks like it's about 0.129. Okay. Okay, so we're almost there. Now let's see if I can say anything about the shape of this. Can I put the N here, right? It's always that question of can I drop the N on the normal distribution? All right, so if we're in mean land, only one of these two things has to happen. So was the population distribution stated as normal or approximately normal? No, it wasn't, okay? I don't get normality that way. Was the sample size at least 30 so that the central limit theorem kicked in? Well, let's remind us, what was our sample size? Okay, our sample size was 60. That is at least 30, so I can put the N here. So before I even get going, if we just take stock of what we have, we know the center and standard deviation for the population. We don't know its shape, but we actually know the shape, the center, and the standard error for the sampling distribution or just a, a different way of saying this is, if I'm asked to calculate probabilities, I can't do it here, but I can do it here, right? We're allowed to use normal CDF. All right, so we've gotten through, are we a mean land or proportion land, or again, numerical or categorical? Because we were numerical, we set up our six question marks, got a whole bunch of information. Now, as we go through A through H, we're gonna try and figure out, are they asking us a question about the population? So I'm on this top line. Or are they asking us a question about the sampling distribution? So I'm on this bottom line. So let's see. This is what is the average app engagement time for a tablet user? All right, a tablet user is one at a time. It's not saying take a look at averages. So I'm on the population distribution here. All right, and that's why I underline the, the word a. Uh. So I know the average app engagement time is 8.2 minutes. All right, population distribution, 8.2 minutes. This says, what is the average app engagement time for the average or the sample mean of 60 tablet users? So you see they're asking you about averages here, and then they still want the center of that. So the center is still 8.2 minutes. Right? We've been seeing this entire chapter that the center for your population distribution is the same as the center for your sampling distribution. But again, this one was talking about X bar. This one was talking about the population. Okay. All right, so then we see for part C, it's saying what is the standard deviation for the app engagement time of a tablet user? Again, a tablet user means we're up on the population, so this is gonna be one minute. All right, now if I scooch this up a bit, get a bunch of this into view, 
All right, so here we go. Now it's saying, what is the standard error of the mean? All right, so I see average, right? So I'm on the sampling distribution, plus standard error is a fancy term. Well, actually, it's a, I guess it's not even, it's fancy, but it's actually simpler than saying it's the standard deviation for the sampling distribution. But it's this number right here. So we've got one over the square root of 60, and we decided that was 0.129 minutes. So really start to take a look at the, the clues here, right? When you're going one person at a time, if you're not looking at averages, but just one person at a time, you're on the population distribution. When you're looking at averages from your sample, and we happen to have a sample of 60, so I want an average of these 60 folks, I'm on the sampling distribution. Right here I saw the word mean, I'm on the sampling distribution. Okay. All right, so now let's see what we can start calculating for all of these things. All right, so for part E, it says find the probability that the average app engagement time for a tablet user is between 8 and 8.5 minutes. So I see my buzzword of probability. All right, I want app engagement time for a tablet user. So again, I'm going to talk when I see the a, uh, this is on the population distribution. Okay, so that means I just want to use the variable x. So we've got 8 to 8.5. And I've said this a few times, but it's always good to repeat just in case we, it doesn't sink in right away. It doesn't matter if you have less than versus less than or equal to here. All right, the equal to adds nothing to the area under the curve, so it wouldn't change our answer. All right, so we want to be real careful. All right, I go to the X, or I have X here. Let me go to the population distribution. You see the question mark, right? I do not know that this is a normal distribution. I don't know what kind of distribution it is. Again, I don't know if it's uniform, normal, skewed left, skewed right, unimode. I don't know anything. So I can't do this problem. Cannot do. All right. And that's okay. That's the answer. I want you to be able to recognize when you cannot do a probability question. And this is an example of that. All right, so since I didn't know the shape of the population, I can't be using normal CDF. I don't have that tool on my tool belt. All right, so let's scoot this up and get a bunch of this, the other parts of this in view. All right, actually, let me scoot it up just a bit more so we can see all of this. All right, there we go. So now it's saying find the probability that the sample mean for app engagement time for these 60 tablet users is between 8 and 8.5 minutes. So you see what I'm underlining here? I'm trying to highlight the clue words or the words that tell us which distribution we're on. So I still want probability, but this time I want the average between 8 and 8.5. Okay. Now, I know it's out of view, so I'm just going to write this over here. We knew x bar was approximately normal with an average of 8.2, and it deviated by 0.129. All right, so I can go through, and I can label and scale all of this stuff if I want, but I'm not going to go three up, three back, because it's going to get pretty cramped in here. I'm just going to write the numbers that I need. So I've got x bar along the x-axis. This is average app engagement time the units are minutes I've got probability along the y-axis all right we knew 8.2 was under the peak all right and we have to go from 8 to 8.5 so you can imagine, just to get get some idea, I am going to do one deviation up and one deviation back just so we can get some feels for what this is. So I'm going to do 8.2 plus 0.129, and that would have been 8.329. And let me do 8.2 minus 0.129, and that would have been 8.071. All right, so just based on that, I can get better feels for, for this. So I'm going to start with my x-axis. All right, so let me find my ruler. 
Ah, uh, there, got it. All right, so we want to go from 8 to 8.5. So if this was 8.071, 8 should be just a little bit under that. So I'll put 8 here. And then we want to go to 8.5. So I think 8.5 will be, I don't know, a little bit closer to here. So let me shade this area. And if I look at it, it it's a pretty good chunk, right? I mean, that's what, 80? 85% if I'm looking at it. Because maybe that's about 10%, 11%. Yeah, I'm going to say 80, 85% just looking at my graph. All right, but in looking at my graph, I can see it's definitely over 50%. So I'm expecting a number larger than 50%. Now, because this is normally distributed, I can go ahead and run normal CDF. So I'm going to say this is normal CDF. All right, low, high, what was our mean? 8.2. And our standard deviation was 0.129. So let me go crunch this number. All right, so it's looking like we're getting about 93% or a 0.929. So when I was saying my guess of 80, 85%, I actually underestimated it, but but either way, I still knew this was gonna be over 50%, so I'm happy with the answer, all right? So again, in comparing and contrasting, we could not do part E because I did not know the shape of the population distribution, but I can take a look at part F. I can calculate this probability because we know that averages go normal. And that's part of why the central limit theorem was so important to us. We figured out that if we started to look at average averages, we could get a normal distribution every time, and we could always calculate probabilities based on that. All right, so going through this, it says find the 90th percentile for app engagement for a tablet user. All right, now this is the percentile version. So I wanna figure out the X value here. And you might be thinking, oh, okay, I'll just use inverse norm. Uh, no, you can't, right? We cannot do this. I don't know what the 90th percentile would be, because I don't know what the shape of that distribution looks like. So this is another version of the, I cannot do this calculation. All right, we don't know the shape of the population distribution. A little sad face. All right, so that, that question mark we had in terms of the shape of the population distribution, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot this down just so we can remind ourselves. All right, way back here, right, that question mark prevents me from using norm, normal CDF and inverse norm. I can't use it, I'm, I'm not allowed to. All right, so let's go take a look at H. We got one more to work through together. All right, so this one is saying, now find the 90th percentile for the average app engagement time from our random sample of 60 users. Well, that one I can do. All right, we know the shape of the sampling distribution. So let me go mark this up. All right, so we got our probabilities on the x-axis. We got, I'm sorry, on the y-axis, we got x-bar along the x-axis. We've got average app engagement time here. The units are minutes. I've got some space to write on this one, but we had what, 8.2? And I'm gonna use the numbers I had before. It's looking like it was 8.329. And this one was 8.071. All right, so based on that, what I'm looking for 
is the 90th percentile. So I'm just gonna eyeball this and see what I can guess here. Um, I know that one deviation above the mean, I know this is already the 84th percentile, so I wanna go just a little bit to the right of that. This is my guess for the 90th percentile. I'll put a question mark because I don't know the X value, but I want this to be 90%. So I want that, let me darken this just a bit in case I faded it out. All right, so I don't know what this number is. It's gotta be larger than 8.329. I don't think it's gonna be too much larger because if you remember, right, our, our average was 8.2 and our deviation was 0.129. All right, and 0.129 is a pretty small number. Um, so I don't need to go too much over this. I'm thinking like, 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, somewhere in there. That would be my guess, just looking at it. But let's let's find out for real um, what this is. And now if we're doing the backwards problems, okay. All right, so if I'm doing the backwards problems, oops, let me scooch this down. If I'm doing the backwards problems on the um, sampling distribution for means, I'm gonna use inverse norm Again, percentiles, right? Cumulative relative frequencies, and then the mean and the standard error. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go inverse norm. The percentile was 0 0.90. The mean was 8.2, and the standard error was 0.129. So let's see what that would give us. So if I'm taking a look at this, we're looking at 8.365. Yeah, that, that was pretty solid in terms of, like my guess was pretty solid on that. So 8.365. And then the units on this are minutes. All right, so when we're looking at averages from our random sample of 60, all right, the 90th percentile is 8.365 minutes. So 90% of those averages are 8.365 minutes or less, okay? All right, so we got one more example, and let's get to it, and then we'll be done with chapter seven.